YouTuber. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I thought we'd have a little bit of fun. Because there are many articles out there all about the most expensive hotels in the world. And I thought my broke ass could sit, enjoy, and look at all the places I can probably never afford to stay. But before we jump into today's video, I want to do a big thank you to our sponsor, Skillshare. Now, I actually went through my class history to see all of the different classes I've taken because I have been using Skillshare for so many years now. They've been a friend to this channel, they've sponsored so many videos, I'm so grateful. And I have taken the biggest, like, range of classes. It's just unbelievable because I never thought to look back on my own history, but I, and I can see my journey throughout all of these classes that I've taken. So it's like really mad, like from years ago, what I was trying to do then or something I tried to get good at. But if you don't know what Skillshare is, which you probably do, but give me a second. They're a massive online learning platform with thousands of classes available to you in all sorts of topics. If you're looking to gain a new skill or deepen your understanding and mastery of a skill that you already have, then Skillshare has so many options from photography, videography, productivity, marketing. I was looking back through my uh, class history, one that really stood out that I still, to this day, am inspired by was a class by Trash Hand, Cityscape Photographer. And it's called Street Photography Capture the Life of Your City. And it's really good because still to this day, even though I took that so long ago feels like now, whenever I'm out and about taking photographs in a city, when I'm on my travels, the advice just keeps coming back. Plus Skillshare, it doesn't have to be a passive experience because there are real projects that you get to create and get support from the community as you're creating them and you can share and get advice, tips, encourage, support each other in your learning. Plus there's absolutely no ads, they're always adding new premium content and it works out to less than $10 a month on an annual subscription. So the first 1,000 people to click the link down below will get a free trial to their premium membership so you can explore, get some new skills, go wild darling, it's free, click the link. And a massive thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I found, hold on, let's screen record here, two seconds, uno momento. So I found this article from Travel Top List, the top 10 most expensive hotels in the world in 2021. So I haven't been through this list yet, but the only one that I can imagine will be on here is the Burj Al Arab, um, because obviously it's the world's seven, only seven star hotel. Other than that though, you know, it's generally not on my to-do list of looking for accommodation really in this kind of price bracket. Am I making sense? I don't know. Anyway, let's go through the list. Ooh. <laughs> Are those canapes? Okay, most expensive hotels 2021. <gasps> there we are, the Burj Al Arab in Dubai. There it is. Now, I've gotta be honest, I would like to stay here just for the pure experience of staying in a seven star hotel, but I wouldn't wanna stay for one night. You know what I mean? Does that make me greedy? Because if you're checking in at like midday and then checking out 10 a.m. the next day or something, I don't feel you're getting the full experience. I'd, I'd need at least two nights and not in the cheapest room either. All right, just putting that out into the universe. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. I did watch a whole documentary on the Burj Al Arab and how like the pressure is different inside to outside. And like, if you've never seen what it looks like inside, uh, le let's, oh no, don't take me off the site. What are you doing? I'm just gonna, no, stop it, stop it. Oh, for God's sake, stop it. What are you doing, mate? Now, unfortunately, that didn't have. I hope the other hotels actually show how much they cost. I mean, just look. It's just ridiculous. I've been on here before, and when you book, I mean, when you book, you can, like, choose, do you need a helicopter or anything to drop you off at the hotel? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, we're gonna go and book something up. This is just playing, though. We're not actually gonna fly out to Dubai, you know, and do the same thing you could have done in your little flat in London. Moving on! Far too ragey. No, Scott, I'm sorry. You're not coming. All right, fine. You can come. Right, give me those rates in pounds. All right, let's go Wednesday to Saturday. All right, a bit of a midweek excursion. Deluxe one bedroom seat suite. I, you, you know, that's a lot of money. A grand a night. But that is for the cheapest room. To be fair. I mean, I don't even like paying £100 a night. Sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes you just have to because you're left at the last minute and you need to be like central London. However, I should hope you get complimentary Wi-Fi. I'd want complimentary a lot of stuff. Even if I was in the cheapest room, I'd want a complimentary load of stuff. <gasps> There's a water park? I, 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 no, 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 these rooms are not good enough. Here we go, now this is more like it. Club one bedroom suite. Mm. There's a snooker room. Oh, here's how you look at photos. <laughs> Have you seen the internet before? That's your room? It's just a bar? 
It's just a bar. Your room is just, okay. You know, I'm not mad about that. I'm not mad. And just around four grand a night, the dream package. You get a 60 minute massage included. Arabic inspired welcome immunity and evening bites pep. Mm -hmm. Complimentary airport return. Mm -hmm. Two family bedroom, three family, okay, more. More, I need more. The diplomatic three bedroom suite. You know, I think that would be perfect for us. What do you think? Something subtle, you know, knowing your face. Just almost seven grand a night. I am pretty sure also that these kind of hotels have rooms that they do not advertise, like presidential suites, like the biggest, like Penn's house. And if you have to ask, you can't afford it kind of pricing. You know what I mean? I mean, what do you get though? Like a selection of nine types of pillows. Cheap hotels do that. It just looks like a hotel. Like I would like to stay there just the experience, but my God, I'd want everything to be included at like seven grand a night. You know what I mean? I like everything. All inclusive, unlimited, all of it. As many massages as my bones could handle until they turn to mush. Coming in at number nine, oh, Hotel Plaza Athena in France. The premier hotel in Paris in terms of grand on the fifth floor is the biggest suite of the French hospitality industry. You get to relish the sight of the Eiffel Tower from the hotel. Guests have a, I should hope so. The least I would expect in a, this, exp 27,000 a night. This is what I'm talking about. Well, the Burj Al Arab is seeing like a bit of a budget option now, isn't it? I would expect to see the Eiffel Tower. You know, I'd want to own some of the Eiffel Tower at this price per night. Well, let's have a look then. Let's have a look. Necessary. I'm sorry, but for that much, you expect me to dine with others? Never mind being in a panini right now. I, I want the restaurant to myself, please, at that price. More. I need more. More? We have more. Junior Suite. Junior Suite Deluxe. These are not as expensive. Where is the 28 grand one? Getting there, though. We're getting... Ooh, I mean, that... I mean, it looks like a house, though. Which I'm not mad at. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wow. Wow, that is a signature cupboard. That is that is a signature wardrobe right there. And why do all hotels have these little half moon seats? I mean, it's not that nice. Mm, look, if I had the opportunity to stay here and it wasn't my... Fine. I'm not saying I wouldn't stay here. I'd do it. I'd do it for you. But come on. Eleven and a half grand a night for that. American breakfast for two. Why do I want an American breakfast? I'm in France! Oh, okay, we're moving on. <laughs> Me acting like I could even afford anything like this anyway. Okay, the next one number is the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas, Nevada. More than lavish than the Sky Villa Resort on the sixth floor covers over 800 square meters and costs $35,000 a night. Website temporarily closed. Well, that's, that's not good, is it? Can I still explore though? I mean, that's a pool. That's a damn pool, isn't it? I could, oh, come, that's a, that's a nice pool. What is that? Why is it in a basketball court? What is this? What is this? Is that a real room in like a, a basketball court turn? Why is there three beds like that? Uh, the Kingpin suite. Stay in your lane, both of them. Oh no, are these themed rooms? <gasps> okay, you're starting to take my money now. No way is that a room. What? Okay, okay, now this is what I'm talking about. This is where your money is going. A wet bar, wet bar, a wet bar that has a sink. <laughs> it's, it's a bar with a sink. So we can't actually see, I mean, if I click book, it's not gonna do anything, is it? Let me just check, see if I can get some prices. We're just gonna back out of this, but I'm liking that a lot more. I'm not gonna lie. Where are we? Number seven, the Grand Hyatt Cairns Hotel in Cairns. <laughs> Only temporarily though, rates from 240 euros. Why is that for like entering foyer? Ooh, pen's house suite. Give it to me, baby. Oh, oh my. Oh, it's fancy. Oh, oh wow. <gasps> Guys, let's go in a little bit. Ooh. 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 This is cool. This. Oh, okay. I mean, that's beautiful. You can't deny that. That is pretty. If you walked into this hotel and this was your room and you just saw this alone because you have no friends, I mean, this is very nice. This is very lovely. Go in, please. Oh my God, it's like Inception. And we're in a hotel within a hotel within a video within a video and you're watching this video and I'm watching this video and I don't like it, backing out, backing out. And the one, the only one they're showing us is a grand and I, the prestige suite. See, view, I mean, it just looks like a hotel. You know what I mean? Where is my bowling alley? Where is my cinema? 
Where's my wet bar? This looks like it's got a little of the Grand Resort Lagan Lagan Laganity? Uh, Royal Villa in Athens, Greece. All right, we're just gonna go straight into rates here. Let's stay next month, you know, not this month. Check rates. Here we go. We're in the 2000s. Can we go to three? We are in the 3000s, anyone? Three and a half, we're in the three. Oh, we're almost in the four. We are in the four and now with flexible rate. We're on the four and 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 the four. Ooh, but that, is, that escalated quickly. Governor Villa with private pool. Yes, please. But this is only four and a half grand a night. That's not too shabby. That's a weird TV. I don't think I like that. Ooh, what shall we add? What shall we add? Yes, we'll have one of these. Uh, we'll have one of them. Dine around supplement for adults. Sure, at only 250 pounds, two guests, two nights. I think we can do that. You know what, that's not too bad. I don't know what I'm getting for that. What am I getting for that? Daily buffet breakfast, complimentary Wi-Fi, acting like you're doing us a favor, it's 2021 love and I'm paying fucking 10 grand. It's nice. There's nothing wrong with this hotel. It looks quite lovely with the private pool you can get. Oh, here we go. Oh, I mean, look at that, the ambassador suite. Should we go, Blake? Should we go to the ambassador suite? But again, for 10 grand, and that's not even for the biggest one. It's not even for the biggest one. So, number five. Oh, we're in Fiji. Oh, I'm going to butcher this. La Laukala Island Resort Hilltop Estate, Fiji. I mean, this is where we're getting into more of, like, my realm of if I ever got rich enough, I'd feel okay spending this kind of money. But what kind of money are we talking about? Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay. All right, well, let's just, let's just think about it for a minute. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Okay, I don't know how much this costs, but this looks like a very fancy, like, not many of these, maybe the fanciest room. Just, just go out. Just... Maybe this is what it starts at. Are these the starting prices? We'll go for two nights. Search. Hotel Scaring Clothes will reopen November 1st. Well, when can I, when can I, when can I, when can I? Have they closed down again? Okay, so another one, but we're guessing that the room starts at $5,000 a night. How did I not go and stay here? The Raj Palace. Ooh. $43,000. Okay, for $43,000, this had better be mine. All of this had better be just for me. I want that pool, just for me, for 43 grand a night. It is so much money, it's, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Accommodation, uh, presidential suite, please. Uh, yes. It's a four floor apartment and a small jacuzzi. Hmm. Right, the heritage room. Okay, 300. We're looking at 300s. Now we're in the 500s. Now we're, whoa, that bloody jumped up quick. The prestige suite. Is that one I got? No. <gasps> Oh, he's got a bathtub, that's where the money's going to. That had better be mine, that is what I want. Seventeen and a half thousand dollars. Oh, it's grass. <laughs> I thought it was a pool. This better be my cinema as well. I am not sharing, I will not, you cannot make me. Bloody hell. All right, that's enough of that. Number three, Four Seasons Hotel in New York. Hmm. Wow. I mean, that's, that's an interesting use of color. Bloody Rona. Next, number two, Hotel President Wilson Royal Penthouse Suite. Where is it? Oh, okay, Geneva, Switzerland. Wow. Okay, well, this is gonna be a big one. It's gonna be a big boy. Big boy. Here it is. Oh, it's a Marriott. I don't think Marriott's are that good. Oh, wow, my camera just like shut off. It was like I've had enough of looking at hotels now, Ali. Thank you very much. All right, so where are we? Oh, we're in Geneva. Okay, so we're just gonna go straight to make a reservation because we got somewhere to go, we got somewhere to be. Have we not? Have we not? Uh, let's do it for next month. <laughs> I'm very busy this month. All right, more, more. more. Is that it? Is that it? The junior suite. Mm. Why do I feel like I've been bamboozled here? Give me like the 10 grand a night rooms, the 20 grand, the 30 grand a night room. That's just a room. It's just, it's lit it is literally just a Marriott hotel, isn't it? It's just a damn room. And how much? One, three, five, two. Oh, just a grand a night. That's not too, I say it's not too bad. I mean, it is, it's awful. No offense, plenty of offense. Because it is just a damn Marriott room, but it's not as expensive. I don't trust this article at all. All right, we're gonna go on to number one now. We're number one. Okay, number one. <gasps> Wow. 
the Lovers Deep Luxury Submarine in St. Lucia, the most expensive hotel in the world. <laughs> That is what I'm talking about. Let me spend my money. And $150,000 per night is officially the costiest, costliest hotel in the world, located in the ocean at a considerable depth. You get an underwater view of the entire marine world. Though it's very extravagant, every minute spent in this hotel is worth every penny. Unless you've actually spent the money? Can you actually say that when it comes to, you know, we're not talking about £200 a night. Or I'd be like, you know what? It's a really nice hotel. You know, you want to splurge a little? Go for it. 150? That's a house! <laughs> That's a damn house! A night! No! No! No, no, no. Give it to me. I need to see this. Oh. Oh, no, where? No. What's going on? Woo. Well, it's a luxurious submarine. The underwater hotel is concerned. The only cost you have to bear in mind is... No, that is a lot more per couple for a night. If you have a generous budget, um, hello, Jeff. I have your next holiday for you. You're literally the only person in the world who can afford it. That is absolutely horrific. I'm sorry, I thought it looked cool, but if it truly is a quarter of a million dollars a night, or even if it was $150,000 a night, that is just, oh, I mean, it's cool, but it's literally for the, only for the insanely rich. Okay, so there you go. I hope that made you feel good about yourself. Here are all the hotels you'll probably never be able to stay at ever in your lifetime. Um, but you know what? I'm not too upset about a lot of them actually about any of them because i swear to god i love a bit of luxury i don't get me wrong get me into a five-star hotel and i can enjoy you know the super ridiculous soft bed sheets and the incredible service and just the beautiful balconies and your own private pool yes i'm okay with all that but where i've traveled to around the world and normally i get my information from when i go on press trips and they put us up in a really fancy af hotel Bitch, you know I'm googling how much that costs per night. And I've stayed in some, and they're about £500 a night. That is a lot of money, but they look way better than these. Um, so, mm, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Hotels in general are just hotels. They look like hotels, and I don't think you need to be paying into the tens of thousands. That is just getting ridiculous for a hotel room. It might have two floors. But if it does not come with a bowling alley, I no longer want it in my life. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> I thought we'd have a little bit of fun today and look at some ridiculously expensive hotels. Let me know, did you like any of these? If you had to pick one to stay in for one night, which one would you pick? I'm guessing you're gonna pick this one, aren't you? You're gonna pick this one, the underwater one. Uh, let me know down below and um, let me know if you want me to do any other kind of videos like this because this is a lot of fun. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. I upload videos every Wednesday um, and I'll see you later. Bye.